Hello, it is Logan here from the Motorcycle Forge. Today, I'm gonna to show you how a performance exhaust system gives your bike more power and how you can use this info to make your own performance exhaust system. Now, as you can see, there are three main reasons you would want a performance exhaust system. They look and sound amazing. Weight reduction. And most importantly, Hewitt Packard. <laughs> I mean horsepower. And this is what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. First part of a performance exhaust system we're gonna talk about is pipe diameter. So that is how big our pipe is cross section. Now, a bigger diameter exhaust can in theory flow more exhaust gases than a small one. But if you go too big, you lose exhaust velocity, and if you go too small, you lose flow because it's restricted. And both will lose your horsepower. Now there is a happy medium that we want to aim for, so what we want is we want maximum velocity out of our pipe without it restricting the flow. This will promote scavenging and empty the cylinder more efficiently, which will increase the draw on our next stroke and um, increase horsepower. Now there are two ways you can figure out what diameter pipe you want for your bike. So there's the internet or like other people's experience seeing what they've done and trial and error by doing it yourself. I'd recommend a bit of both, you know, see what other people have done, take that in consideration, you know, buy some bends like this from your local shop, you know, weld them together, put it on your bike, see what it goes like, make adjustments as necessary. The second part is exhaust length. To just sum it up really quickly, a shorter pipe will make more power at higher RPM than a long pipe, but a longer pipe work a lot better at lower RPM. Now the reasoning behind this is exhaust gas pressure waves. So they are caused by the combustion in the cylinder. Now the valve opens, this pressure wave, positive pressure, flies down the exhaust to the end. When it gets to the end, the exhaust gases go out in a negative, well they continue to go out, but a negative pressure wave, which is the blue, goes up the exhaust to our exhaust valve. Now if we can get it the right length, so this negative pressure wave gets to our exhaust valve as it's opening, it will pretty much, it'll assist the scavenging, so it'll suck some exhaust gases out, get them moving, and it will increase our volumetric efficiency and increase our horsepower. Now something to know about these exhaust gas pressure waves, these are traveling at the speed of sound, which that's 343 meters a second, which that works out to roughly 1,234 kilometers an hour, which is a hell of a lot faster than your motorcycle. Another thing to quickly note, because our exhaust is running way hotter than room temperature, which is what the speed of sound standardly is measured at, our speed of sound will be this fast inside our exhaust. So this is at 420 degrees Celsius, is at 527 meters a second, which is 1,897 kilometers an hour, which is almost as fast as my race bike. Now, this timing of our exhaust gas pressure waves is RPM dependent. So pretty much this effect here, our negative pressure wave getting there, increasing our efficiency, that will only work at a certain RPM. Let's say it's 3,000, 6,000, 9,000, and 12,000 RPM. But in between there, this effect will not be working. So what we want to do is we want to make this effect as useful as possible. And how we do that, well, a, a way of doing that without changing the length of our header is a megaphone. So if we have a slight taper here, our exhaust gas coming out, when it gets to here, it starts sending back a negative pressure wave. But when it gets to here, it starts to send another one. So they're going along and then it gets to the end, it sends one more, and so that's out, and then you've got three, well, you know, it'll, it'll be a, a cone shaped pressure wave, pretty much, but you'll have a whole bunch of pressure waves coming up, negative, and if the exhaust valve's open, it'll help scavenging and it'll help suck out more exhaust gases, increasing our efficiency. Now, with a megaphone fitted to your bike, you may find it develops a cold. And by a cold, I mean megaphoneitis. And the symptoms of this are lower RPM, say from 6,000 to 3, it'll produce less horsepower than it would without a megaphone. 
but in the higher RPM, say 9 to 12, it'll have increased horsepower. Now the reason it has decreased horsepower around the lower RPMs is these sound waves that are reflecting up and down the exhaust and the lower RPMs would be arriving at the wrong time and actually hindering efficiency, hence losing horsepower, but you gain it up top. So to, you've got to give to get. I'm going to spare you the pain of going through maths and I'm going to show you the really easy way. So if you look up tuned exhaust length on Google, there is a guy who's made... So he's taken the information from a book by Graham Bell on four-stroke performance tuning and he's turned the calculations into a computer algorithm. You just put in your CC, your valve timing, and it will tell you how long to make your exhaust. And um, it's super simple. Now, I would definitely recommend getting the book Four-Stroke Performance Tuning by Graham Bell. He also does one on two strokes as well. Now if you want to see more stuff like this, just let me know with a subscribe and maybe a like if you liked it. Otherwise, this has been Logan from the Motorcycle Forge. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.